Huge thanks to all the community member. We are more than 2,000 now. And recently, WordPress 5.9, which was inspired by international jazz artist Josephine Baker, was released. And I'm sure all of you are curious about this update. So let me explain everything important about WordPress 5.9 and help you to do a smooth update without breaking your website. So today in this short video, I'll explain you all new and important features. Who should be really excited about WordPress 5.9? Is it safe and should you update or not WordPress 5.9? When you should update? How to update to WordPress 5.9 without breaking your website? And lastly, how to recover if website breaks? So the first thing is new beautiful default 2022 block theme. You can see there's some screenshot from this theme. It looks very beautiful. Another one, how the pages looks like. You can have this kind of amazing pages by default in the theme. And then here are some patterns of the 2022 themes, how it will look like on desktop and mobile devices. Look at this one, looks pretty beautiful. I'm really happy this is a really nice update by WordPress. And 2020 is not just a default theme, but a really new way of editing WordPress websites, which brings us to second feature, which is full site editing. So from now, each part on WordPress sites will be using a block, including header and footer and you will have full control over each block. So the other page builders are in danger now because you saw from WordPress 5.5, the Gutenberg blog editor is getting more and more powerful and WordPress 5.9 release is a big hit to all of them. However, block editor is still not as easy and has less features and presets than other page builders, but it will reach there very soon when you will not need any third party editors. And the second point full side editing also explains that point that who should be really excited about WordPress 5.9 update because this is not really a big effect on all the websites. It is interesting to know when everybody is talking about full site editing, it is not affecting a lot of websites because full site editing is available only for the block themes. And currently there are only 45 block themes on WordPress repository. So I think very few of you who are watching this video or among the WordPress committee are using block themes. While making this video, I counted the 45 block themes available on WordPress. Only website who are using among those 45 block themes will only affected and be benefited by this new huge update, which is full site editing. But this is the good thing. This is the future of the WordPress website. In future, we'll see all the existing themes will be compatible to the block editor. And you can also take the benefit of block editor using all those themes. But for now, no, not everybody should be excited about this big feature. Yes, there are some small updates about this 5.9 release, which can be benefit for everybody, which we're gonna cover now, because most of you will not be benefited with this full side editing. So I will not put a lot of time and efforts in this thing. I will add a video from YouTube official channel. So you can watch this video and it will explain you everything in very beautiful way that what are the big changes about full side editing. And one more thing, if you're interested, I want to show you that how to find block themes. So what you can do, you can go to dashboard and go to appearance and go to themes. And when you click here on add new, you can click here, feature filter and then from here you can click on full side editing and then apply filters so these are only 45 block themes so it is interesting to know if you want to play with them just install them on a development site and you can have a hands on experience with full side editing came with 5.9 wordpress so let's have a quick overview of new block builder changes so wordpad 5.9 features new typography tools flexible layout controls and finer controls of details like spacing borders and you can also control elements for various devices directly from block editors. So you can control your elements or blocks, how they will look on mobile, tablet, and desktop devices. List view is better now. You have drag and drop feature in the list view. You can collapse element, you can have focus mode, and a lot of responsive controls. Adding navigation and creating blocks and reuse them whenever you want, where you want. Currently, there are 30 theme blocks available which make customization so easy. Okay, coming to the next point, there are some major dashboard changes. You can see on the left side, I have the old WordPress 5.8 version. On the right side, I have WordPress 5.9. Everything looks very similar from here, but they really change a lot of things. If you're using block theme, again, I'm saying if you're using block theme, if you're not using block theme, you will not see all these features. So if I hover here on appearance, you can see I have option themes, customize, widgets, menus, S option because I'm using S to theme, and then your theme editor. If you click on theme editor, the code will open and you can edit your theme code from here. But when we go here, on WordPress 5.9, if I hover on appearance, you have only two things, themes and editor. So editor is a thing where you can customize your complete theme. Let me show you this. So if I click on editor, which is in beta mode, you can see I can customize the whole theme from here. I can customize my header, I can customize my footer, and customize everything. So this is a big change now. And if you're wondering that way the theme editor, if you want to edit your code. So now the theme editor and plugin editor, they're under the tool section. You can see here, theme editor and plugin editor. So this is a big change in dashboard. Also this menu option, we don't have this menu anymore. 
we have navigation items which is very interesting to use i'm going to make a detailed video about all wordpress 5.9 features for block themes so stay tuned and before we move forward i would like to mention a bug which wordpress already mentioned that right now there's no option to add side icon or fav icon in wordpress 5.9 Another option is introducing new language switcher on the login screen in WordPress 5.9. So now when you log in into admin panel, you have an option directly to log in into a preferred language. So you can pre-choose your language before logging into your website admin panel. And next thing is performance in WordPress 5.9. They improved the lazy loading behavior. In WordPress 5.5, first time, they introduced the native lazy loading for images and iframe. But it was not working really well, but now they improved that feature. So your website will be more fast now. So now lazy loading will be better on your WordPress website. And this feature will be applicable for all the websites, no matter you're using block theme or not. Only full site editing is the feature which will be available only to block themes, but all other features will be available to every website. And there's some chart presented by WordPress team that how fast it is. So you can see the loading time to first block is improved 8%, typing improved to 22% and then you have some block operation speeds. So yes, WordPress 5.9 is faster from last version, at least 8% faster for me. Another point is WordPress 5.9 compatibility with PHP 8 and 8.1. As they mentioned here, WordPress is not fully compatible with 8.0 8.1. There are some bugs, there are some warnings there. So right now it is not fully compatible, but they are working on it. So these are the main features and let's see is it safe to update to WordPress 5.9 or not. So I'm saying it is safe, updated some websites on WordPress 5.9, no problem because I was not using any block theme, but every website used different themes and different plugins. And there's no guarantee that all plugins and themes you are using on your website are compatible with WordPress 5.9. And we already saw in every WordPress major release, thousands of website breaks, not because it's fault of WordPress, but because WordPress is a huge ecosystem. You have so many free plugins, free themes, and they are not all compatible with the newest versions. So which brings the next question, when you should update. So wait for a couple of weeks, in, you will see in a couple of weeks you start receiving updates for plugins and themes. So in a couple of weeks when you have your theme updates, your plugin updates, then only update WordPress 5.9. Okay, now the question how to update your WordPress website to 5.9 without breaking it. So you can see on my screen, I'm using WordPress 5.8 and 5.9 is available, please update now. The first thing what you're gonna do is you're gonna take backup of your website. You can use any plugin, I'm using a Draft Plus backup plugin to take backup of my website. You can use any other plugin. I create a detailed video how you can take backup your website if you want to know about the methods, how you can take backup website. So check out the description of this video or check out the card on the top. So I create a backup, click on backup now and backup will be created. So first thing what we're gonna do, we're gonna update WordPress. So click here on please update now. And then click on update to version 5.9. So it is download update package from WordPress server. And guys, this is my main live website. So we're gonna see together if WordPress breaks my website or not. Normally, I will suggest you to do this after a couple of weeks. That's my recommendation. If you want to play and you want to take a risk and you take a backup, so why not? Go on, you can update now also. Okay guys, so we updated to WordPress 5.9. You can see all the details about WordPress 2020 theme, full site editing, the paint box and blah, 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 a lot of things. Everything most they explain here, applicable for block themes. Maybe in future your current theme will be compatible with block pattern and block concept. So WordPress 5.9 is updated. Now what you need to do is, I'm gonna check my website, does it broke or not? Just scroll the page, no, my website is working perfectly fine, nothing broke on my website. And guys, if you want to get some amazing hosting deals, you can come on this website and you can find amazing hosting deals here. There are a lot of discounts here. Okay, so WordPress updated. Now second thing, what you're gonna do? The work is not finished yet because we just updated WordPress. We need to also update plugins and themes. So what we're gonna do now, so second theme, we're gonna update the plugins. So we go to plugins and install plugins. So one by one, we're gonna update all the plugins. Plugins like XMAT, migration plugin, they don't break the website. But for example, any other plugin, like Content for Simon, any other plugin, when you update plugin, go back to your website, refresh your website. Is it broke or not? And the same thing you're gonna do with themes also. You will go to appearance and then click on themes. And then you see there's update version available. I click on update now and my theme will be updated. And then you already know what you need to do. Go to your website and refresh your website and see if something broke or not. Everything looks fine on my website. So now you know how to update your website. So let's see what if your website broke during this process. So it will happen not because of WordPress 5.9 update, but because your plugin and themes, they're not compatible with WordPress 5.9 release. So, and this is a new release, so I'm sure not all the themes and plugins are already compatible with WordPress 5.9. So what you can do, when you were doing the process after updating WordPress version, 
update all the plugin one by one okay for example i update this plugin normally this plugin doesn't break website but it is just example so if you update this plugin you go back to website you find it broke what you can do go back in your website remember i created a backup i gonna click on updraft plus backup and for example i have this backup created of my website so i'm gonna click on restore i'm gonna choose component plugins i'm gonna click next i'm gonna click on restore and my website plugins will be restored so what i will do now i will not update this plugin and i'll move on to next plugin and what i can do i will wait for the next update for this plugin or i can contact the plugin developer so do this do all the plugin update one by one do the same thing with themes if your website broke restore the theme and contact the theme developer or wait for the next update of the theme and guys i will make a detailed video about wordpress 5.9 so make sure you turn on all the bell notifications so don't forget to like the video for youtube algorithm and subscribe to my channel because i will give you amazing tips and tricks which makes you a pro peace and love see you next and if you want to know how i improve my website score 100 out of 100 using lightspeed cache banking check out this video on your screen